hello everyone this is Ashwan now I am here to teach you HTML after this video you will be aware of how to write a HTML page yes there are three front end languages to learn while designing a web page there are HTML CSS and JavaScript where HTML is used to create a structure of the web page and CSS is for style and JS JavaScript is to represent dynamic behavior HTML stands for hypertext markup language where hyper is a reference link text is the data or information you have written and markup is a predefined text language is the communication we are using and HTML is a general language which can be used to write any kind of web page all types of web pages which you daily browse in the web page are nothing but HTML now I'm going to teach you HTML and please follow this to, to, please follow this video tutorial and please try to note down now I'm going to write the first program in HTML HTML generally contains tags tags are nothing but the words or phrases which can be ends with less than and greater than symbols right in HTML there are mainly three tags head tag HTML tag and body tag HTML tag is nothing for is used for opening where head tag is used for it is used to represent a title in HTML you just remember it used to remember the title and the body is the one which you are presenting the content we are we are, we are using p tag paragraph tag paragraph tag is used to represent some content we are using p and closing with p forward slash p forward slash is used to close the tag now see let's run it yes this will be saved with dot html extension the file should be saved with dot html extension whether it should be notepad or notepad plus plus and now i am going to teach you another video after this tag we are going to see what are the kinds of formatting in html tags we have seen format uh, p tag paragraph tag and now we are going to see the break tag and other formats break tag is used to cut the uh, given sentence into two different types here this is a line with the break up is a single sentence but we are putting the break in the middle break is represented by using br slash this is a single tag this device line two and there are from formatting tags like bold italic strong these and all are considered as formatting tags they are nothing they are representing subscript superscript long small these are all tags which are used to format the text different time yes this is this is the line with the break tag this is divided into two see the difference and these are the tags for various types of formatting text now we are going to see another video headings in html other than paragraphs there are also some main things called headings in html headings are h1 to h6 no more than h7 h9 those and all only h1 to h6 h1 is a big heading and h6 is a small heading these are used to represent in many many uses there are many uses with heading tags yes this is see how funny how easy it was the bigger one and the smaller one only six heading tags please remember and now we are going to open uh, on the HTML file this is user to create horizontal line and comments yes horizontal line why horizontal line if we write a paragraph and we need to paste place a line in the below of the paragraph we are using the HR tag and the comments yes if you need to write a large code large containing large block of code how can we remember which part is which and what are the things we have written so we have been writing a comments comments cannot be displayed and this is how format look like <coughs> comment look like yeah see this is the horizontal line and there are no comments see we have written this is a comment but there is no comment now we are going to open and the way yes now these are colors colors can be represented in many ways uh, we have representing with background color text color and the border color we have representing it see border color blue so the border I mean the background color blue so the entire background of this text will become blue and here the text will be in the red and here we have violet 
solid is nothing but the type of the text see how it looks like as see this is a background color of the text blue and the text red is the border violet see how funny HTML is so easy it was now we are going to open another one yes quotation when we are writing the important quotes or important things we need to use this Q and closing with Q see how it is very easy HTML is now we are going to open another one style yes style tag this is used to place anti the background anti background of the body will become a single color here we are giving blue color background color blue yes that's funny and that's amazing right the blue color entire body now we are going to open another one we are going to open another one yes image tags yes these are very funny and interesting most important thing in html images can be represented by using two ways one is the file which you have created in the similar folder where html file is here i am using first one tant3.png yeah this picture is in my folder and the other one is placing url if we need to copy uh, if you are going to copy some url in the internet and placing them pasting that in the similar one images rc yes here is please note down while passing the video if you are interested to note down yeah now we are going to open another one yes links if we try to navigate from one page to other by clicking on something how can it be possible yes links in html will be used to navigate from one page to another ahref ah reference is used to represent it uh, here i am writing one link right see if i click that it will redirect to another page uh, forget about the data if we click that this yes if we click that it navigates into other page this is the use of links in html see clicking that will redirect to another page this is how many web pages are similar now we are opening other one yes tables tables yeah everywhere you know tables are forget about this css we will catch it later table tag can be represented by using the table opening and the table closing it is a style which means with 100% it fits the entire page and table can be opened by using tr tag tr is table row and th is heading of the table i have given three headings so that i can have three columns first name last name and age th we have closed it and second row we are writing the data h1 is a first name palagat and h20 similar fashion we have written and the two data here closing with t is t table data yes that's amazing right html is always fun to have fun to program and the fun to look see how beautiful it was amazing now we are going to open another one another html tag yes lists ordered and unordered list when we are writing something and we need to form it as a list these can be used unordered list is a one which have no order it will be we are i'm writing here disk so disk in the sense it will clear some bullets circular bullets and the data will be represented by using li tags ul is the type of the list and li is the data in coming to order list if we create ol as a list then it will form default it will have some numbers on the list now check you will came to know yes an order list will have the bullets and order list will automatically defaultly have numbers see funny how funny it was really enjoy programming html yes now there is another one oh -ho. yes this is used to write present the style anti style of the html 
division blocks see div is used to block the code i mean it will create the division of the entire code suppose you need to create a particular division we are using div tags yes this is one division opening with div and closing with div and we have given background black and the text color white so that it forms division tag is also very essential one now we are using frame tags if we need to divide the screen into two or three parts and the frame is used for that frame is used to for that frame set is a class is a tag used to define a frame here we are having three frames so we are giving 25 percent star 25 percent star represent the remaining content 25 24 50 so 50 is the value of this star and we have redirected three frames and the urls are nothing but the html files which we have created in the previous list image style now see how it works it will be amazing look yes this is link.html file which we have seen past image and the style frames are really really a very helpful in creating web pages and the thing we are going to see the important one forms forms.html yes forms forms are right if you are going to uh, log in to facebook or login to gmail you can see these such kind of forms like uh, uh, enter the username password submit yes these are things we are getting yeah username input type equals to text so we are representing the text type we are need to submit text type a name you are giving it first name value first name it can be represented and the last name and last input type you submit you can have the submit button here after writing this yeah we can run it and you can be able to know how these works clearly yeah i'm going to run it yes that's it first name last name and submit i have given uh, value of the first name to name now see i can change this to first name so that it will change there also first name and i'm saving control yes to save running hey, hey see first name is replaced it's used to indicate to uh, indicate how to write see how html tags uh, there are still many more html tags but once you are familiar with that you can be able to know if you are also done with css then it is e very easy to create a web page and thank you for watching and if you go through it and do some particular project you are very well about how to create a web page and in the later videos we will see how css and javascript work